Last night is not something you remember too well. It's a bit of a haze. You remember going to the gym. There was a bit of drinking involved, but... Everything past that is just a blur. You come to you on a familiar, smelly pile of trash. You're at the dump. You're very hungover, surrounded by many empty cans and bottles. The warm heat of deep within the... Like, there's an abnormality when it comes to the dump. This pit is a bit hotter than it is on the surrounding area. And it's kind of warm and comfortable for a moment. It's like a nice warm blanket before you realize what it is. Oh, hence the falling asleep in it. Alright, well I'm gonna assume I smell awful if it's warm in the dump. Absolutely. This is why I'm lonely. <laughs> you think that to yourself, just staring up at the sky. You see at the edges of the pit, just bits of grass and sand falling in. I'm gonna check my pockets, because normally if I'm at the dump, I've been doing dumpster diving, looking for stuff. Yeah, so, checking your pockets, you ended up with a total of roughly 20 bucks worth of stuff. You found hey. what looks to be a old... High school trophy that says number one county state. It just kind of has like a slash in it. And the trophy itself seems generic enough. There's not even a name on it. You could probably right. sell it for a bit. So you find that just kind of like in your hand as you wake up. It You're snuggling it much like a teddy bear. I miss my teddy bear at home. Can I climb out of the pit? You start to move a little bit. You start to sit up. There's some snakes slithering about, and you look around for the ladder that you normally use to get up. It is about a good 20 feet from the actual trash to the ledge of the pit. Okay. Normally there's a ladder, but the ladder is not there. Oh. Well then. Can I look around for it to see if it had fallen in the pit? Looking about... If it did... Like, the pit, you know, normally moves a little bit as things settle. You, you've you gone pretty deep in your diving before, and some things just kind of, like, turn by themselves. And, uh... If it did fall in, it's either fairly low down, but you also seem to remember that they sometimes take the ladder out of the pit whenever there's not a lot of people using it. Ah. So it's just one of my unlucky days. Is it straight smooth or is it climbable? It is absolutely straight smooth. Oh, jeez. Hmm. I, uh, gripe in my head about who designed this pit. You Can... wait, dearie? You heal calling from the edge. I just say yes and hello. And I ask who's there. Oh, I'm Kathy. I'm one of the new pit watchers. Uh, hello, Miss Kathy. Might I ask why you slept in there? I was gonna ask you if you had known when I came in here, because I really don't remember getting here. Oh, I actually, uh, I know when you got here, it was around 11 last night. But, uh, you just kind of, like, jumped in there and started digging about. I mean, this is only my, well, second day of the job, so, uh, I wasn't really questioning it at the time. I know some people like to dig around here, but, uh, you, you kind of just ended up sleeping there. I, are you okay, dearie? I've got a really bad headache, and I can't seem to find the ladder. Oh, I have it up here. Will you mind tossing that down for me? Yes, I do mind. Oh? 
You see, I... I have a lot of cats to feed. So, uh... If you wouldn't mind... Giving me a bit of cash or, uh... Something, then, uh, I'm sure we can work something out here. How much are you thinking? Oh, uh, five bucks. How about I give you this trophy I found that would be roughly worth 20? She looks it over uh, the best she can with her old eyes from this distance. She shrugs. Sounds good to me. Alright, toss that ladder down and I'll be able to give it to you. Alright. She begins to struggle with the ladder for about 20 minutes before she actually manages to get it to the side. And... She drops it down in. Alrighty, I'll start heading towards the ladder. Is that snake gonna, like, be in the way, or is it just... It's just like around? a small garden variety snake. There's a few of them that go in the pit every now and then. They're not venomous, so if they do bite you, then it's not an issue. Okay, then I'm gonna just start climbing out. Alright, you climb on out. And I hand her the trophy. Thank and then you. lament about having to go home and take a shower before I have to go to work. And oh, well, I ask her what time it is. Well, um, it's about one thirty. Oh. Yeah. Well, it was great visiting with you, but I have to go to work now. Okay, you smell like a lot of alcohol. Are you sure you're okay? I'm sure it's something you can't help with, Miss Catherine. I hand her the trophy and I start sprinting towards where I assume I parked my car. You look around, you find no car. Do you know how I got here last night? Yeah, you ran. Well, then I'm just going to start running to work. Uh, your work is just down the road and to the left. Alrighty, I'm gonna go then. Zoom out, I'll make it easier. Eh. Eh. As you kind of pass through the area, uh, the orange part is sand, the green parts are part of the just very light grass and dirt as it's kind of seemingly being pulled towards the pit. You know that the pit kind of just has a few things drag into the area. It's basically a massive sinkhole for the area. Even the trees are slowly moving towards it. There's not a lot of buildings in the area other than your work. I guess the best place to put a garbage dump would be a sinkhole. I'm gonna keep running to work. Am I in my like dress clothes or am I in my gym uniform? You are surprisingly enough in like a nice decent suit that you have. It smells awful and it's like wrinkled to all hell, but you're in your normal work suit. Then I'm just gonna open that door like I'm not even late. Tell everyone good morning. <laughs> you open the door. Inside, you see Scarlet, one of your co-workers, looking rather amused at you coming in this late. Oh, Donovan. Donovan, Donovan, Donovan. You look morning. like hell rolled over. I feel like it too. I give her a smile and immediately start heading to my desk before anyone else notices me. Alright. Uh, the way back is through that door. Your mm. normal spot is as the other teller. Is that right here? Uh, nope. Down a bit. Right here? Yeah, your normal seat is right next to her. Oh, right next to her, okay. Yeah. You take your seat, begin to just kind of like dust yourself off. As you do so, you hear a small clank 
as a empty beer can falls to the ground that you don't quite know exactly where it came from on you. I do not respond to the clank and start shuffling papers on my desk. You shuffle through the paper papers, doing your best to be as... Hide the shame. Yeah. Scarlet looks over to you. You know, I did my best to cover for you. Uh, Justin doesn't seem too happy, so you might be dealing with that later. Anyways, I'm going on break since I, you know, did the job of two people for a while, so... That's completely understandable. She pats you on the shoulder, and then just like, as she goes in for, as she like, goes to do a pat-pat, it's just a pat, and then she like, realizes that she's touched you, and she looks at her hands. <laughs> nope. And she rubs it on the wall as she walks away. A little bit passes, about five minutes. You hear a call pull up, and a woman comes through. Good morning, welcome to, what is it? Brumath? Brumoth? Uh, Brumath Banking. Brumath Banking? Uh, yeah, hi. You've seen this woman come in every now and then. She mostly comes in to get checks paid out for the normal work that she does. You don't remember exactly what her job is. You know, remember that her first name is Ashley? Not so much what her last name was. She comes in, sits down. She's one of the people that, while well, she's wearing a suit, she looks like she's ready to scream and call a manager at any second. She nice. looks at your attire for a moment. <clears throat> Did a raccoon break in? <laughs> My washer went out. That's... Huh. Okay, well, I just <laughs> wanted to get this check cast out. She slides underneath the glass, just this small check, made out to Ashley Heidel. Ashley Heidel. I ask if I can see her ID. She nods, goes through her wallet, fishes it out, puts it under does it match the name? Yes, it does. Alrighty. Then I start... How much is the check? Uh, the check is for $300. Okay. Then I start cashing it. Alright. You cash it out, pay it back to her. She... Kind of just looks at the money for a moment. Unsure of if she's going to take it. She, like, picks it up and sniffs it. I warn her that she probably shouldn't do that. She takes a step off to the side and begins walking back to Justin's office, your manager. Without saying a word. <clears throat> I shrug. <laughs> Nothing really I can do at that point. I guess I'd, uh, I'm assuming Justin's office has a phone. Yes. I call him and let him know that Miss Ashley is heading his way. Alright. Yes, and, uh, I see that you were in late again. Yes, sir, I deeply apologize about that. We're going to have a talk later. I completely understand. You hang uh, up. The hangover hits you in its entirety. Your head is just kind of throbbing, banging. The bright fluorescent lights of the bank aren't helping out too much. I just start rubbing my temples and groaning. <laughs> A bit of time passes. You hear... The very angry ramblings of the woman behind the wall. Another call pulls up. This time, a woman that you haven't seen before. She has long white hair, 
with purple, purple and orange shrinks in it. Has it up in ponytails with black rimmed glasses. She has red eye contacts in, and is very pale. She's dressed rather nicely, like a decent businesswoman. Hmm. I hit her with the same intro, you know, welcome to Brewmouth Baking, how can I help you? And then I mentioned that I like her hair. Thank you. I like your very messed up suit. I laugh and say thank you. She pushes the chair off to the side a bit, and kind of like leans over towards the opening of the glass. Say, can you do something for me? I sure can try. How can I help you? I want you to... She pulls the gun out and angles it through the opening. Oh, uh, let's just say a thousand dollars for right now. A shrug. Start pulling the money. Do I have a uh, silent alarm? Yes, you do. <clears throat> I start pulling the money out while bumping. I bump my knee against the silent alarm. You pull the money out. Hand it over to her. Thanks. What's your name, cutie? My name's Donovan. Yours? Oh. Uh, uh, I can't really tell you that. Um, let's just... Well, since you're my next, I can tell you what my ex called me. Uh, he called me Psycho. <laughs> I laugh and say I've heard that one myself, so... Yep. And, um... Just a little something to remember me by. She pulls the trigger. Oh. So sometime later, you come back to. You. It's the pain in your arm is still there. You're turned around in the chair. A woman who you vaguely recognize, bandaging you up. Maybe if uh. you had a second to think about it, you could probably recall her name or something, but it's... You, you've just got shot. It's too hard to focus on anything. I don't know. Uh, I... I'm just gonna glance around and see, what, see, see if that lady is still there. Uh, she's not. You do see your boss, Justin, sitting on the other side of the, uh, blind, seemingly trying to avoid looking at you. He is somebody that has a fairly weak stomach. There is mm. a cop that's looking you up and down, seeing that you're coming to... giving you a moment to kind of, like, not be disoriented. Scarlet is... just kind of in the back, leaning against the wall. She seems to be biting her nails. Hmm. The woman that is tending to you looks up at you. Well, I patched you up a bit. Looks like you're coming back too, so... Uh, how you feeling? Uh... I feel like that's the worst thing that's happened to me so far. But then yeah. I glance at Justin to mention that the day is still young. Uh... I'm paying you for the full day. We're not going to discuss that. Uh, you're going to go home and rest for a while. Okay? i shoot him a thumbs up. Thanks, boss. He gives you a thumbs up from around the divider. We also going to talk... We are going to eventually talk about your alcohol problem. There's a support group in town that I think you should go to, but honestly... We, we can worry about that later. Could you tell the officer here everything that you know about the woman? So is it a smarts check, or is it like a anything I remember you said? Anything that you remember that I said. Uh, I mentioned <clears throat> that she has long hair. It was white with streaks of color through it. 
I mentioned that she had red contacts on, and I mentioned that she, she called. She said her name was Psycho, and that I've never seen her around the bank before. Oh, I must mean that she's out of town. Uh, from out of town. Well, you can hope that she's just was passing through, but uh, surprised she only got a thousand from you. She said let's start with a thousand. Could that mean she's planning to come back to the bank a different day? It could be. I'll make sure that we have somebody in the area from now on. Ugh. I just nod my head. Justin kind of like waves his hand around. Good thing today's leg day. (laughs) (laughs) Justin... Waves his hand around the divider. Oh, you seen everything okay? Not like double vision or nothing? Everything seems fine other than the pain in my arm. Is it right or left arm? Uh, It is your left arm. Yes, not dominant arm. So, uh, if you're good, let's let's take a walk and talk for a second, if that's alright with he looks over at the woman that is seemingly probably a nurse with how she has been treating you, or a doctor, and the cop. They both kind of nod and take a step off to the side. Justin, how can I help you? He takes a step around, puts his hand out to your uninjured one. Let's let's get you walking to make sure that you got the blood flowing and everything. I start standing up with him, and I mentioned that he uh, his handling was pretty well, considering like. He's... Oh, he is fucking shaking. He has a straight face, but like as soon as he turns around, you can see that his arms are just vibrating. I just mean he seems pretty knowledgeable about the situation, like you know, making sure your blood's flowing and all that. Yeah. Um. The person that was working on you, that's actually my wife. Ruby. Oh! Yeah, I learned a bit while she was in med school, so... It's, uh... It's something that you just kind of pick up as you're helping them with the textbooks. That's fair. Still useful info to know. Alright. So. Is my car here? (laughs) No, it is not. Where is my car? Probably somewhere in town. Uh, You do not have your keys on you. Nice. So, uh. Look. After everything that happened. I really don't want to get on to you for the whole, you know, drinking issues. This isn't the first time that this has happened, but you, you really need to get help. I nod. I completely agree. When does this AA class start? It meets twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, I actually had a pamphlet that I was planning on giving you today, but it would have been a lot better if that... Shooting didn't happen, but, uh... Look, I'll even pay for you to go. Just, uh... Normal you time. You pay to go to AA now? You get paid to go to AA whenever you got shot on the job. Oh, that's fair. We'll just call this you... Uh... Since you can't really... Since I don't Sick want... Leaf. Yeah, let's call it sick, paid sick leave. Alright, I got you, boss man. What is today, though? Uh, today is Sunday. Alright. No, today is Monday, because banks don't work on mon- Sundays. So, I'm really sorry this happened to you. Ugh. 
I'll work on adjusting some things with the glass screens to help prevent that from happening in the future. Well, there's nothing you could really do there, man. If someone wants to shoot somebody, they're gonna shoot somebody. Yeah, but doesn't mean I can't do my best to try to make it stop from happening. Look, Donovan, it's just uh just go to um uh whenever the arm gets all healed back up, come back into work, alright? Sounds good, boss man. Hopefully I'm back sooner than we think. Yeah. That's uh Let's hope. He kinda just gives you a smile. Uh Ruby said that you'll be fine. Uh Honestly, you should be able to move your home and everything, but she put it in a sling and said to just let it heal up for a while. I nod my head and I say, make sure you tell your wife thank you for me. Um, I'll have to buy you guys dinner sometime, and I promise to take this AA thing seriously. He smiles, nods. Look, just do your best to take care of yourself, alright? Where is your car? Him. Man, one of the reasons I want to take this so seriously is I don't even know. Do you need me to drive you home? Nah, it's all good, boss man. I'm able to walk. It'll be good for me. Are you sure? Yeah, clear my head, you know? Alright, just uh, take it easy, alright? You too. I got some blood to clean up. I lean in and say, make Scarlet do it. He kind of just smiles, shakes his head, and continues to walk in.